Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what exactly Spring Boot means. I have example for a Spring Boot and the old application with XML configuration. Okay, so that you can compare and check what exactly the Spring Boot's advantages or benefits. Okay, so look at this picture. Spring Boot means you'll get the Spring Framework the advantages plus embedded HTTP servers like Tomcat. So the moment you have Spring Boot, what will happen is your you can you can expose your services as though you are deploying in a Tomcat. Okay, so you, you so suppose you want to create a REST service or you, you want to uh, you have a business logic and you want to expose as a service, you can use Spring Boot without deploying in a, a container. Okay, a web container, and the one more advantage is it is minus XML configurations or configurations. Okay, so you don't need XML configuration, you don't need Java config. Okay, all uh, Spring supported features. You don't need this. So Spring Boot means Spring framework plus embedded HTTP servers like Tomcat and Jetty minus these configs. We don't need this configuration. I will explain to you why we don't need this and how it works. Okay. So a simple example for Spring Boot. This is my Spring Boot application. I have compiled and I got the jar file. Okay, so it's it will be a jar file. You can execute like Java minus jar, and your your server will be ready. Okay, this is a very simple application. Okay, it start with Spring Boot application. Add Spring Boot application, which means Spring Boot application means configuration. That means source of bean definitions. Enable auto configuration means ask Spring Boot to add beans from based on the class path and other other sources. Okay, and component scan. Component scan asks Spring to look for other components and configuration and services. Okay, so Spring Boot application means a combination of these three annotations. Okay, I'll repeat. So Spring Boot application means co combination of these three annotations. Okay. So in my Spring Boot application, I have a very simple class with with the annotation Spring Boot application. Okay, so what will happen from the class path? It will check from the POM file. It will check what are the, what are the things required. And if you look at my jar file, Spring Boot jar file, there are no XML file. Okay, only a POM file, a single POM file I have. So this is my Spring Boot application POM file. I have a parent uh, artifacts. And spring parent artifacts and one dependency I've added. In the sense I'm adding web since it's a web application, I need to add this. What will happen is it will bring all the dependencies based on this artifact ID. Okay, so I don't need to uh, I don't need to include like this. This is my old application. You can see here uh, which uses form file web.xml file. Uh, dispatch servlet file okay so here you can see a lot of spring dependencies i will be adding okay so these these things are not required because this one dependency tag is more than enough because i'm informing it's a web and it will bring all the web related stuff in my class part so you can see here all my you can see here sp uh, spring web everything it has brought plus Tomcat is also there. Okay, so this is the advantage of uh, Spring Boot. So first of all, from the POM file, okay, from the POM file, it will bring all the dependencies required for making my application as Spring MVC or REST application. Okay, so I don't need to specify all this stuff here. This is my old XML uh, Spring MVC application where I have to declare all the stuff so this is not required in my spring boot this is more than enough okay then then I don't need this web.xml file okay so it is automatically configured and I don't need this component scan because this one annotation is more than enough it will do the stuff okay So let me show you the advantages. It's very easy to develop spring based application with Java or Groovy. It reduces lot of development time and increases productivity. As, uh, as I shown you, there is no XML file required, web.xml file or um, dispatch server.xml file, nothing is required. If you are using uh, 
if you want to use JDBG and all, you have to just include in the dependency. That's all you. That's all is required. In the bomb file, you just say Spring Boot data some uh, some dependency here. It will bring the JDBG required. And if you and which day which database you want to use, you can specify in the application or properties file. Say URL view, URL dialect and uh, username password. Okay. So all those stuff. You don't need XML file, only the POM file changes and this property file changes. That's all is required, okay? Even if you are using for JDBC or data, sorry, database. So it avoids writing a lot of boilerplate code, ex annotations, XML configurations. If you look at here, there is no XML co configuration and mo much annotations, okay? And it's very easy to integrate Spring Boot applications with Spring. JDBC, ORM, data, security, because you just need to add the dependency in the POM file, that's all, and some information in the property file, okay? So it'll, it'll automatically read from the POM file, and it'll start adding the beans into this ap application context, okay? Spring application context from the dependency. It'll identify it, so you don't have to struggle. And it provides embedded HTTP servers like Tomcat, I'll show you that. Here we can we can we are having the Tomcat, so your application will behave like a, a container. It also provides CLI tool to develop and test Spring Boot applications. It provides a lot of plugins to develop and test Spring Boot applications very easily, like Maven and Kraton. Okay, so these are the advantages of Spring Boot. I've already started this uh, Spring Boot. It's running already. Okay, so we can test it now. So this is a old way of doing it using XML file and web XML file, okay? And this is our new Spring Boot application, a very simple uh, example. So let me show you how it works. So so this is our old application. Okay, you can see here it changes. So it's running now, and this is our Spring Boot because I'm using 8090. I can specify which port I want in the property file, okay? So now I'm able to execute. Okay, I've just started using Java minus char. My, uh, my Spring Boot application is already up and running. I have to use Java minus char and it will execute like a, a web container. It will be running as a web container, okay? Internally, it uses Tomcat, embedded Tomcat, okay? So both applications I've shown you, the, the advantages are very simple and from the POM file, it able to read and understand and able to provide spring beans in your spring application context. And this is the old way of doing it using all uh, XML files and too much information we have to uh, provide in the POM file, okay? So these are the advantages of Spring Boot and I've shown you a simple example. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.